bless your name because you are faithful in our lives. I bless your name, Lord God, because you are true in our lives. I bless your name, Lord Jesus, for what you do in me, for what you do in my life, for what you do in my family, for what you do in my community, my church, my ministry, my finances, my health, my children, my wife, my husband. I bless your name for all. I give my family away. I give my children away unto you, Lord. I give myself away so that you may feel us. I give myself away. I give myself away. Oh, Lord, feed me. I give myself away. I give myself away. Myself the way, oh Lord, feed me. I give myself away, I give myself away, I give myself away, oh Lord, feed me. I give myself. Lord does our work. He does his work in us. And the work of God is true. And the word of God says that he is able to finish the good work that he has started in us. All we have to do is to give him ourselves so that his work that he has started come to completion. I give myself away. I give myself away. Oh Lord, feed me. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away. Oh Lord, feed me. I give myself away. I give myself away. Oh, I give myself, I give myself, I give myself. I lay it out, I lay it out, Lord Jesus. I lay it out at your feet. 
to ask you please lord jesus for you are good for you are true for you are honored in my life for you are true 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 lord jesus you are righteous lord god you are holy you are holy and i honor you lord god for keeping me for guiding me for helping me for holding me lord jesus i thank you god i thank you lord i thank you god i thank you my savior i thank you my king i thank you my redeemer i thank you my helper i thank you my comforter i thank you my all in all Hallelujah. For you are true God. You never change. I come at your feet. I come at your cross. You told me that if I have any burden, any weight, If I have any yoke, you say I should come and lay it down at your feet. You promise me, Lord God, you will take my yoke. You will take my burden. David says, oh, as I am a wretch man. Paul says, oh, as I am a wretch man. Peter says, oh, as I am a wretch man. But they know that you are the deliverer. Make me know you as my deliverer. Make me know you as my helper. Cause me to know you as my source. Cause me to know you as the lifter of my head. Cause me to know you as the helper of my feeble knees. Cause me, Lord God, that you look and look upon thee. Oh, my little city. I honor you, Lord Jesus. I thank you for the future that you give. I thank you for tomorrow that you give. I thank you for your tikva, for your hope, for your rope into my future. I shall not pass by. I shall not miss it. I shall not let it go until, Lord God, you bless me. Until Lord God that you change my story. Until Lord God you change my heart. Until Lord God you change my life. Until Lord God you change my whole. I will come unto thee. I will run unto thee. I will seek thee. I will search thee. I will call on thee. I will cry on thee. Until you bless me God. For you are my help. For you are my help. For you are the lifter of my head. The comforter of my soul. Yes, you are my help. Yes, you are my help. You have the word of them. Eternal life, God. Yes, you are my help. Yes, you are my help. 
take me in take me close pull me in pull me close pull me in pull me close pare osi di Pull me, Lord God, in and close to your heart. Like John was leaning on you, close to your heart. Pull me in, pull me in, pull me in. Pull me in, Lord. Pull me in, pull me in. Pull me in, Lord. Pull me in, pull, 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 pull. I bless your name, God, for all you do. I pray that uh, you take control. I pray that you have your way, even now. Be through in our lives. I pray that uh, you increase, even as you diminish, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. Hallelujah. Glad to see everybody here. Hallelujah. Welcome to our brother. Hallelujah. Amen. We are glad to see everyone. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I will not die, because I shall praise my God, the name of God. David said, Lord, if you kill me, who will praise you? Amen? We won't be the stone because I am available to you. I am available, available. I am available, available. I am available, available. I am available, available. Do as it pleases you, O Lord Jesus. 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 I am available, available. Hallelujah. I am available, available. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, shall we go into the word of God without a Jew? In the book of Jeremiah, we shall take verse, the chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29. And we're going to read, but we will read all the way from the verse 1. Because this is a letter that God has spoken to Jeremiah, and he has said, write this letter. To the elder of Israel. Hallelujah. Read with me, please. Jeremiah chapter 29, starting from verse 1. Now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders which were carried away captives. Now. When? Now. Now. I'll, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Amen. I say, God says, now. Amen. So, he said, these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem. What is Jerusalem? Your place of peace. Hallelujah. So, meaning, they were out of the place of the peace. And they enter into Babylon. Hallelujah. The place of trouble. The place of trial. The place of captivity. The place of struggling. But Bible says that God says to Jeremiah that I'm going to write to them from the place of peace to put inside them my peace. Hallelujah. God says I will give you my not as the world. Hallelujah. 
So these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elder which were carried away captives. Go ahead. And to the priest mm -hmm. and to the prophet. And to the prophet. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Amen. Prophet were captive. Priests were captive. And, and who, who again? And to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. You know, in our lives, sometimes it comes that we fall into captivity of something. Anger, unforgiveness, pride, arrogance, lie. Are you following what I'm saying? There is something somewhere. The Bible tells us that even if we love our children more than Jesus Christ, that's captivity. Isn't it? Hallelujah. If we love our job more than Jesus Christ, it's captivity. Anytime there is a reason that is about the reason of Christ, we are in captivity. And the word of God tells us, he still does not give us up. He comes and they speak unto us. Verse 2, go with me please. Verse 2, after that, Jeconiah the king and the queen and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem and the carpenters and the smith were departed from Jerusalem by the hand of Elisa, the son of Shaphan, and Gemariah, the son of Hikiah, Hikiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem. Notice the word here. The Bible says, whom I had. No, no, no. Whom I have caused to be carried away. Away. Here's a secret. In our lives of walk with Christ, with the Holy Ghost, depending on how we position ourselves, God will cause us to be carried away into something. Either you are carried away into the presence of God, hallelujah. The Bible said that the who? Ezekiel, man, he went into the waters. And what happened? He wet his ankle, feet. And little by little, he came to the knee. And little by little, hallelujah, until he had now to be carried away by the stream, by the stream of water. Depending on how you position God, or should I say, depending on how you yield, God will cause you to be carried away. For them, they have been carried away into captivity. But the captivity in which they have been carried away, God did not give them up. Hallelujah. He did not give them up. Tell to somebody, God did not give up on me. There was a day I was carried away. And in my captivity, God did not give up on me. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, verse 5, what he says? Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Build he houses mm -hmm. and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them. Take he wives and beget sons and daughters. And take wives for your sons, and give your daughters to husbands, that they may bear sons and daughters, that he may be increased there and not diminished. And seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall he have peace. Now, see. When you have trouble with somebody, your adversary, your enemy, whatever the person is, the Bible says, 
make sure that you pray that the person have peace. <laughs> because in the peace of the person, you will have peace. Are you what I'm saying? You know, if the enemy wants to destroy you, all he does is to use lie, accusation, everything, like everything. But that enemy must have peace. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see how God works? Why he should have peace? Which type? The peace of having with you, meaning having in him your memory that will not anger him. That's the peace he's talking about. Hallelujah. Not the peace with the Lord. Amen. That's different. The peace he's talking about here is that in the mind of the enemy, there should not be anger against you. Does it make sense? There should not be anger against you. The Bible said that it makes my enemy be at peace with who? You get it now? So the adversary, he said, pray that your enemy shall be at peace. For in that you shall have, hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody said revelation. <laughs> Because it is easy to press God will deliver you. But if you don't pray that your enemy be at peace with you, he won't deliver you. <laughs> he won't let you go. When Nehemiah went to the king, amen, he was in the time of captivity. The Bible said he went to the king and he asked to the king, please let me go where? To rebuild the wall. And then you know what stand for. Wall, wall stand for prayer. Hallelujah. When we talk about the wall of Jerusalem, we talk about the life of prayer. So the life of prayer of Jerusalem was broken. But he said, let me go rebuild it. If the king did not have peace with him, he wouldn't have let him go. Let's go back. Please, let's go back. Let's read. And seek, verse 7, mm -hmm. and seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive, mm -hmm. and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall he have peace. You know, sometimes the wicked can do things. You can be in a country where the president is wicked, like I'll wicked. And then and, and they do certain things, and then you can think like, just... Let, let them be bombarded. But if they bombard them, <laughs> guess what happened? You live in that place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because there are certain, certain, certain people who deserve to be bombarded. But if they are hit, that bomb will hit you. That's why the Lord says we are to be peacemaker, not peace lover. It's easy to love peace. Because everybody who loves peace don't make peace. Hallelujah. So we are to be peacemaker. Go, continue. Verse 8. Verse 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts. For thus saith the Lord of hosts. Of host, the God of Israel. The God of Israel. Let not your prophets. Let not your prophets. And your divine And your diviner. Diviners, that be in the mind. That the be in the midst of you. you deceive you. Deceive you. Neither hearken. Neither hearken to your dreams. Which he caused to be dreamed. Which he caused to be dreamed. For they prophesy falsely. For they prophesy falsely. In, unto you in my name. Unto you in my name. I have not sent them. I have not sent them. Saith the Lord. Saith the Lord. For thus saith the Lord. Now, I'm sure that this prophet were telling, no, you need to pray so that the enemy will come and then destroy Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Are you what I'm saying? I'm certain. Because nobody was sitting over there. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. You have captivated me. Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. <laughs> they were prophesying. Thus saith the Lord. Thou shalt be anointed. Uh, 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 destroyed. That shall be in. in uh, uh, annihilated. <laughs> Amen. So they pray for fire. 
But God said, ain't working this way. Because if fire comes, you burn also. You got first to be out of it like a lot. Because even if the city must be destroyed, you must be out of it first. If you're not out of it, eh, fire come, you'll be in. <laughs> Hallelujah. So pray that God will give peace to the adversary, to the enemy, because in that you will have your peace. Continue. Verse 11. Mm -hmm. For I know the thoughts that... For I, I know the thoughts... That I think towards you. That I think towards you. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace. Oh, Jesus and Christ. And not of evil. Jesus Christ. To give you an expected end. To give you an expected end. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say the Lord. Thoughts of peace. Peace and not of evil to give you unexpected. And let me give you this one in a, please, in a, amplify. Go ahead, please. For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, mm -hmm. says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Plans for peace mm -hmm. and well-being uh. and not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. Hallelujah. Amen. It says plan for Peace, not for disaster. <laughs> Amen. So, whatever disaster that the enemy has calculated, whatever disaster that the adversary has calculated, the Bible says, God says, pray. Pray that your enemy will have, for in it you shall have, because the plans of God towards you are not for disaster, but for well-being, for peace, for a future, and a tigva. What is tigva? Hope. Amen. He gives you the tigva, not the kebel. Meaning, he gives you a certainty of a rope that will pull you into future. You'll be like a Joseph. He had a tigva around him. So in the midst of captivity and slavery, all he had to do was to hold it. Tell to somebody, hold it. <laughs> Say, hold it. Say, hold it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to toil. You don't have to, you hold it. And that tigva is the hope, the rope for your hope into future. And that future, God says, there is peace there. There is no disaster. Why? Because he has loved me first. So if he knows, listen, the plans and the thoughts of God towards them were given while they were in captivity. So when we think, but God, if your plan is good, why am I under the enemy? If your plan is good, why am I still in prison? If your plan is good, you might be watching from prison. And you might ask yourself, why am I still sitting in prison if your plans for me are good? Because it is in the place of your prison that you will find the way out. Hallelujah. It is in the place of your prison you will find the way out. And he says... Because he knows the plans and the thoughts that he has towards you. He says, for peace and well-being. And not for disaster. But to give you a future and a hope. Now, after you receive the thigva to pull you like a, 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 a how do I call it? Like, when, when a car, for instance, breaks down. They bring the uh, the tow truck. There you go. When the car is broken down, the, listen, a car that is broken down is not the car that is not useful. It was just broken down. Sometimes what was put inside was what was causing the car to break down. Sometimes you might put the wrong oil. You might put the wrong... Uh, what was that? Guys, 
I, I, you know what I'm saying? And when a car breaks down, it does not mean it's no longer useful. It means at that time, it is unable to go. So it needs a tow truck. When the tow truck comes, what happened? Amen? He pulls it. All the car has to do is to be still and know that I am. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of God. Be still and know. He's going to pull you with a tigva and he will bring you into the future. The position where the car broke down at was by the byway, the highway. But when it is pulled on, it's no longer from the highway, by the byway on the highway. Are you following what I'm saying? He comes in to rest. And there, they fix the car. Are you following what I'm saying? And then when they fix the car, the car goes back on to function. Hallelujah. So he got to pull me with a tiva into my future. But I might need to pray. For peace. Now, verse 12, what happened? Then you will call on me. Hallelujah. You so there is a then. Amen. You cannot reverse it. You cannot call first and then, then it will pull you. No. He said, God, I pull you first. And then you will call, call on me and. And you will come and pray to me. Say, Lord, I will call on you. Lord. I will come and pray to you. And you will hear my voice. And you will listen to me. If there is nothing else in my life that is true, it's God. For the Bible says, let every man be liar and God be true. It says that then you will call on me. And you will Come to pray and pray to me. And I will hear your voice. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like an onion in my mouth. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a sugar. <laughs> it makes me good. He said, I will come. I will come. And I will pray. And then he will hear me. Listen, Paul was on his way to destroy the children of Israel. I mean, the Christians. Amen? He was on his way. So many people who knew him, they knew him as a destroyer. But by the time he left Jerusalem to go to Damascus, he was not three, four, five years People who knew him, they heard he was coming. So they were not waiting to welcome him. <laughs> Hallelujah. They were not making plans to welcome him. No, 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 no. If there was any prayer they were doing, oh, Lord, destroy him. <laughs> oh, Lord, confuse him. <laughs> oh. But then among them, there was a man who was called who? Ananias. God said, Ananias, I have a plan for you. Go speak to Paul. He said, ah, ah, Jesus. <laughs> Do you know Paul? <laughs> I, I, can you imagine? That's because the memory of the hurt, the memory of the trouble, the memory of the disaster, the memory of the pain is higher than the memory of Christ in us. We forget that Christ is able. He is Abel. Even when the wife of Potiphar lied on Joseph, that lie helped who? Joseph to be on the top. Are you what I'm saying? The Bible said there was a, a prostitute in the Bible. He, there was a prophet that was called Hosea. 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 And that prophet, God told him, go marry who? A prostitute. Somebody say, ish. <laughs> <laughs> but that's there. God said, go get it. Now imagine, 
The Bible tells us the reason for, okay? The Bible says he was giving a picture, a symbol of how Israel has prostituted herself with other gods, but yet God still love Israel. But in the reality of the things, when Hosea went to take the prostitute, the elders of Israel, they say, alas, <laughs> it shall not be such a thing among us. That's true, because it's the word of God. But what God was trying to show unto them is that he can change anybody. He can change anyone. So Paul was changed. And Ananias said, Lord, I don't think so. That guy, I know him. He has been killing. The last time I heard of him, he killed. No, no, he killed. He agreed for the killing of Stephen. That, that's the last hearing I had of him. Children he arrest. Wife he arrest. Pregnant women he arrest. Whole men he arrest. He put them in jail. And then you tell me to go to meet him free. <laughs> You yourself, you told me that if they persecute you in one place, flee to the other one. How is it that the persecutor has come with his own town and then you want me to go sit down before him? Jesus, you made it wrong. You got it wrong. <laughs> you got it wrong. The story must need to be rewritten. But he says, go. Go tell him all that I have for him. Go tell him all I have called him for. That's why I always say, do not remain Sambala. Who knows Sambala? <laughs> Hallelujah. Do not remain Sambala. I said, the people who saw me yesterday, who knew me yesterday in my life, when they saw me and they heard that the God called me, they said, hmm. This one cannot change. <laughs> that if this one change, then God has come on earth. I say, y'all, he has already come. <laughs> Hallelujah. But there is a principle. You must first agree and know that he has a good thought for you. Pray for the peace of your adversaries and the enemy. And then come Call on him and pray unto him. And he said, I will listen. I will say, Lord, you will hear my voice and listen to me. Say, Lord, you will hear my voice and listen to me. Look, among all, you say you will listen to me. The priests and the prophets and the, and the, and, 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 you say you will listen to me. You will listen to you. Hallelujah. He said, I will listen. Look at, the love of God. When I was, well, I'm still young, but when I was younger, <laughs> amen, I remember Christianity for me was like a, on dit la dent de si? Dent de si. La si, la si, on prend pour couper. The saw. The saw? The saw. Okay. Saw feet. You see the way it is? It goes like that. That's how my Christian life were, was. I was Christian two months, and I was pagan two months. <laughs> so I was going to God, and I was going down from God. And then my life was like that. Until I got into jail. In that jail, I said, Lord, there is only one way out. Because in jail, there is no two door. In your house, there may be two door, front and back. But in jail, there is one. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you want to go out, you must go through it. But to go through it, you will have to merit, like a, to, to earn it. 
If the judge did not deliver you from your jail, never you will go out. Well, you can make plenty of escape, but that escape, when they find you, <laughs> amen, they're going to bring you back. Amen. So what you really need is a judge to have mercy. Now, when you talk about a judge, the judge is sat to do what we call to rule on the law. So the judge does not make a law. He rules on the law, meaning the law that is already made. If you broke it, he look into it, you broke it. Okay, what's the sentence? That's it. You feel what I'm saying? So the judge rule is to rule all the, on the law. And suddenly you come and the judge look at you and he says, you are free. Ah. Amen. You know. That you should have deserved the sentence. You know you should have deserved the death. You know you should have deserved the hanging. You know you should have deserved the shame. And then the insult. And the disaster. And all you need. But the judge looks at you and he says, you are free. Now the question will remain in one thing. Because there are two types of freedom. <laughs> there is one. If you get out, your enemy will kill you. <laughs> there is one. If you get out, you will go to your destination. The one where the enemy will wait for you is like in the time of Paul. The Bible said that they were waiting for him. And they made a plan so that the job will release him. And when the job will release him, they will catch him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And they will kill him. They will finish him. But that's not the type of release you want. You don't want, you don't want bribery release. Hallelujah. You want a merciful release. Then you will call on me. So tigva is when you are in a position where you cannot function like a broken car. And then you say, Lord, I need your tow track. Somebody say, Lord, I need your tow track. Lord, I need your tow track. There is a pulling of me that I need to bring me places and places and places where you wanted me to be. But by myself, I just can't make it. I pull and I push. And the more I push, the more I see like a wall. It's like a wall. When you push and then you go back. And then you say, Lord, I need your tow track. You got to get me through. Why? Because you said, then I will call on you. And I will come on you and to you. And I will pray to you. And see, 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 see. Then you will call on me. And you will come and pray to me. And. I will hear you. And you, you, you see how he's, he's having to multiply it. He's he going to multiply it because everything that he says he will do, he says he shall do. But if you don't hold on the tigva, if you don't hold on the rope to pull you into your future, you will be still a useful car but broken down. By the highway. Hallelujah. So I need to be pulled into my future because he has plans for me. Verse 13, please read. Verse 13. Then with a deep. Ooh, Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes the Lord let you go into captivity so you will learn to deep longing of him. Are you what I'm saying? David. Has experienced it. David was in a position where he started with the wife of her. Uh, is that? No, 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 no. Uh, Naba. Is that Naba? You know, when he was, huh? Nebel, 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 somebody. He was, uh, uh, um, I think her name was, uh, I forgot the name. He started with his wife. He was in the, in the wilderness with his men. And she came to present the things of her husband. And, uh, you know, to tell him, he saw her. He started there. He wanted her. And, uh, huh? Sorry, Abigail. And then later on, 
When David heard that the Mary, the, the Mary, the husband has died, he has no, he didn't even wait for her for the husband to die. He already took her. I hear what I'm saying. David's life was cumulated with every time fam, I say fam, women problem. Women problem. Abigail. First Samuel chapter 25. So by one day, there was something that happened in the life of David. And after that situation, David said, Lord, all I need, all I need is your spirit. Why? Because I know that regardless what happened to me, if your spirit is gone, I'm done. That's what happened to me. I was in that place. And I said, Lord, all I need. Is your spirit. So at that time, now the desire for God truly started, started, started growing. It's like, it's like, in French, we say, la goutte d'eau qui a fait déborder le vase. Amen? Ou bien, uh, like, what in English? The drop of water that made the vessel to run over. To run over. Ah, we say that. In proper English. I mean, American English, whatever. Amen. So the drop that was too much. What'd you say? Okay, the drop that was too much. And that day, I sat down. Because I'm talking about the verse 13. It says, then with a deep longing. Because there is a way you seek God. But there is a, another way where you say a deep longing. Are you what I'm saying? So I was there and then I said, Lord, I do not want to even, I was not even praying to get out of jail. I was praying to be ready. I was praying to know him. I was praying to love him. I was praying to let himself be known of me. To the point that I forgot I was in jail. <laughs> Completely forgot. And jail became for me like a, a Bible college. <laughs> and then the person who calls me to fall there, I was praying she would be at peace. And then as I was praying, then the deep longing, somebody said the deep longing, the deep longing has started now growing in me, growing in me, and I started now groaning, Lord, I need you. Mm. The deep longing, it was, this one you can no longer fake it because it overshadows you to the place and to the point that you know this is, now you are on the hook of Christ. And at that point, <laughs> that's a place where you start now having, because when you have a deep longing for Christ, you have a deep hating for sin. You feel what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's how it works. When you have a love for Christ, you have to relation for sin. But when you have a deep longing, there is an exchange. Are you feel what I'm saying? And that exchange makes you want to just Please him. Somebody say it's possible. Hallelujah. And then, then with a deep longing, you will. You will seek me. You will seek in me, Jesus. And, and require me as, as a vital as necessity. As a vital necessity. Hallelujah. Amen. Meaning, at that point, you will no, no longer play holy, but you will live holy. Are you what I'm saying? Your thoughts. Let me tell you something. There are times when in your thought, you just want to, to insult somebody. Like just in your thought. <laughs> somebody can get on your nerve, and then in your thought, you are sitting in your own home, or wherever you're at, 
and you want to just look at his toe like a, 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 an elephant. <laughs> Are you what I'm saying? That's your thought. But when God starts on becoming a vital necessity, your thought doesn't even have no more room for it. What is necessity? It's something that for without it, you cannot make it. So because it is vital, it means that you don't even have time for foolishness. Are you what I'm saying? You don't even have time for foolishness. And at that point, the Lord in you, with a deep longing, start now pulling you with a tigva. And then you can see yourself truthfully getting into the future that he has for you. And he says a future of hope, good plans, no disaster, so that he can give you peace. Then with a deep longing, you will seek me and require. The word used is require, not just ask. <laughs> you will be like uh, uh, Moses' name, uh, Moses. He will require the presence of God by saying, God, Lord, if your presence does not go before me, I will not go. Well, Moses had the power of God. Amen? He had the power of God. He had the, the voice of God. But he said, Lord, this time, I require your presence. Imagine. God said you can require from him. <laughs> you can demand in his presence. You, you can demand in his presence. Say, Lord, I demand your presence. Lord, I demand your presence. That's why he said, he will make himself known, discovered, touched. Then with a deep longing, you will seek me and require me as a vital necessity. And, and you will find me. And you will. Find me. And you will. Find Say, Lord, me. I will. Lord, I will. Find you. I will. Find you. Continue. And when you search for me with all your heart. Ay, 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 ay. Now listen, this is the important part. In our heart, it can be many things that take room that should not be there. Hallelujah. It can be many things that take room that should not be there. So it says, you cannot find me because you search me sincerely but not with all your heart. Are you what I'm saying? He said, the reason why you're not finding me is not because you are not sincere in your search, but you are not searching me with all your heart. Meaning, in your heart, it should not be any room for anything else but God. You can sincerely search God and sincerely miss him. Can he? Can you? I say, can you? Can, can you? Hallelujah. It's not... Because you sincerely desire God and search Him, that's me. You will make it. He says there is a requirement. It has to be with all your all heart. Your heart. That's why David says, "Lord, search me." And I always say this: David pray by saying, "Lord, search me. If you find anything in me, that's how you pray, right?" I say, "No way, that you cannot pray like that." You say, "Lord, search me when you find." <laughs> because it's no longer an if, it's when you find it. Because you gotta find it. <laughs> Hallelujah. So when you find it, remove it. Because I need your tigva that will pull me. So first, knowing the future. 
knowing the thought, knowing the plans of God. That he wants you to pray for the peace. And then he wants you to know that he's he going to do it. That's the first one. And then he said, then you're going to step into the second place. He said, you will pray now. And then when you pray, you will listen. And then after, he says, then you will start now having a deep longing of him. And then you will require his presence. Hallelujah. And as you start requiring his presence, then you will search for him. With all your heart. Verse 14. What happened? I will be found. I will be found. By, by you. In another word, you cannot find God. If he does not let himself be found. Amen. But the amount of him letting himself be found depends on the amount of how you search him from all your let me tell you something. Before I was praying, praying, before, before, wait, 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 wait. I was praying, 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 oh, Lord, manifest yourself unto me. I had desire. But he never manifested himself unto me. But I, I had a desire. But he was not with all my heart. So I never experienced him. And one day, as I say, when I got in jail, <laughs> Done deep longing now started. <laughs> when deep longing started, and then at that time, I started searching him. At that time, he was full with all my heart. He was so much with all my heart, he did come. Hallelujah. For he said, I will make myself known and manifest myself to you. He did come. So, I realized... That because he's God, he knows my heart. Hallelujah. So, because he knows my heart, in a sense where he knows the thought of my heart, then I better be true with him. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes you can pray, and then you can be like, Oh Lord, forgive me. I have done so wrong. And then in your mind, you're thinking about the money you stole, but you're thinking, actually, you didn't steal. But it was because. <laughs> and now you, you start now putting around the thought of your prayer, certain reason why. Are you what I'm saying? So you are suddenly giving excuses inside. By doing so, is not a deep longing. But God says, I will be found by you, saith the Lord. And I will restore, and I will restore your fortunes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, and I will restore. Yeah. Meaning your position. Your wealth in him. Your future that was already traced by him. Your life as it was designed. He's going to restore the car that was broken down by the... Because at that time, you already enter into the garage of God. Hallelujah. And then the mechanic, the divine mechanic, the holy mechanic, son, I'm working in you. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, work in me. Work in me. Work in me. Work in me. He pulled me. I was useful, but I was dysfunctioning because I was in captivity. Then he pulled me, and as he tore track me, he told me, and I was being pulled. I was being pulled. And then I arrived into his holy mechanic. His store. And then over there, he started changing the piece, the components, the gears. Some of them, because of life, they got damaged. Are you what I'm saying? 
When somebody hurts you over and over and over and over, some portion of your heart becomes damaged. Amen? So you need replacement. Say, Lord, replace my heart. For he said in the word, give me a new heart. Because life has damaged portion of that heart for which I need to search him with all that heart. And he said, you will find him. He said, I will find him. And he said, it's going to restore all my fortunes. And he will what? Free you. He will. Free you. He will. Free you. Say, Lord, you will free me. me. You will free me. me. He's not talking about your neighbor. He's talking about you. He said, he will free you. And I will free you and gather you from all the nations. You know, when you are scattered from inside, it's like your spirit or your soul or your thought are scattered everywhere. You need to be gathered into one man. You know, are you what I'm saying? You need to be gathered into one person. Because for you to have all your heart, everywhere your heart will scatter, need to come back. Say, Lord, everywhere my heart was scattered, I call it back now. Every place is where my heart was scattered. I call it back now. Every place is where my heart was scattered. I call it back now. For he said, he will gather me from all nations and all places, whether from my youth, whether from my childhood, whether from my, whatever place where my heart was scattered. He said he's going to gather it all from all places, from all nations. And I will come out. As a new man. For I desire a deep longing. Something that is of a vital necessity for which I cannot breathe without. For which I cannot function without. For which I cannot go without. For which I needed to have it full. And filled in my whole entire life from my spirit down to my soul passing through my conscience and emotions having my mind and intelligence captured and captivated by the presence of the almighty God and then the power of God that reside in me I will start now digging and longing and then causing the presence of God as I require and demand that presence to carry me to the throne of his grace to find help in time of need for I need you Lord I need you it's the only place I can find you after I have been broken, after I have been scattered, I've been have been put all over. You say you're gonna gather me. You're gonna gather me. Say, Lord, gather me. Lord, gather me. Everywhere my heart was scattered. From my conception. From my youth and my childhood. <laughs> Everywhere my heart was scattered. <laughs> From the places I worked at, from the places I have attended, from the things I have heard, everywhere my heart was scattered. Lord, gather it. Pop. 
Parebo Sokahata. Gather it, Lord Jesus. Gather it, Lord. Gather it, Lord. Gather it, Lord. The whole cycle of disappointment. Cycle of a disappointment. Cycle of a disappointment. In which my heart was scattered. Gather it from me to Lord God. Cycle of hurt. Cycle of hurt. In which my heart was scattered. Gather it from cycle of abandonment. Cycle of abandonment in which my heart was scattered. Gather it, Lord. Cycles from which my heart was scattered. Gather it from me, O oh Lord God. Pareo sondarabagata. Reba shete de 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 Gather it from me, to Lord Jesus. Gather me from me, to Lord Jesus. I pray right now. I pray right now. You say you will deliver me from the exile. You will deliver me from the captivity. You will deliver me from the hands of my follower. You will deliver me from the hands of my enemies. You will deliver me, Lord God, from the cycle of life. You will deliver me, Lord God, from the cycle of disappointment. You will deliver me, Lord God, from the cycle of discouragement. You will deliver me, Lord God, from every place my heart was scattered, and thou shalt gather me again with a deep longing. I shall long for you. God, me, God. God, me, God. God, me, Lord. God, me, Father. God, me, Lord. Prepare your soul, God, me, Lord. God, me, Lord Jesus. Reo soto robi gadia. God, me, God, me. Shelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Cause me to be carried away captive in you. Cause me to be carried away captive in your love. Cause me to be carried away captive in your spirit. And guard me from all nations. And guard me from all places. For in you I come and I come and I come. Mari la 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 la. For you are God alone in my life. For you are God alone in my heart. For you are God alone, God alone. Pa pe re 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 Thou shalt listen to me, so Lord God, you said I will require your presence. I will demand your presence, for I shall refuse to go without your presence. I shall refuse to go without your presence. I tap into your presence. I demand your presence. I demand it, Lord God, as a vital necessity. As a vital necessity, I call. I call on to it. I call on to it. I call on to it, my God. God of me, 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 and God of me, God of me, and God of me, oh God of me. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Malulolo le shetere, mekare la anda la la madele la, pororose de 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 I come unto you, Lord Jesus. I come to receive uh, the living water. I come to receive uh, the flowing waters. I come to receive uh, rivers of life. Uh, Rivers of life, uh, rivers of life. Uh, I come to receive uh, your living water. I come to receive uh, your flowing water. I come to receive uh, your living water. God, uh, me, uh, let it flow out of me, uh, living water. Let it flow out of me, uh, rivers of life. Let it flow, 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 let it flow. Exchange with me, uh, exchange in me uh, the gears of my life, uh, the gears of my mind, uh, the gears of my heart. Uh, that was corrupted, uh, that was damaged. Uh, Oh, renew God, uh, replaces of oh God. Uh, let it be renewed, uh, let it be restored, uh, and uh, let it be according to thy will. Uh, let me enter God, uh, let me enter God uh, in the holies of the holies. Uh, let me, Lord God, uh, step into the places uh, that you have, uh, Lord God. Uh, call me unto you, Lord Jesus. Uh, you have appointed me, uh, you have sent me me Lord God you have called me from above you have sent me from above and you have dedicated me Lord God separated me Lord Jesus to be a holy people to be a holy people to be a royal priesthood to be accepted into thy presence I call unto you Pare bambi ya bosu kiti na na ne, mama baba na baba ya badile husudi, mama dili la dili la mama husi kiti ya, beki ya usu tabri ya na la la. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Oh, I give you the praise. The praise I recognize your sacrifice on the cross, and I thank it and I value it. 
Chant me now Set me free now Heal me now Transform me You told me God I shall call on you And I shall seek you With all my heart And I shall find you You will give me peace and rest You will help me God You will pull me to the future You will pull me to your 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 future I give myself away I yield, I yield, I yield, the Lord I yield, I yield, I yield I yield, I yield, I yield today I yield, I yield, I yield Take me in Take me all Let me experience it one more time. Experience your presence one more time. Experience your presence one more time. Pull me in, pull me in. I pray that the Lord pulls you now. I pray that the Lord pull you now. Even as He pulls you now, He's bringing you into His place of rest and peace, of restoration, of deliverance, and liberation, and giving unto you the peace of Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen.